So we're going to talk about the 20 things that keep you deficient in minerals, okay? And some trace minerals. First of all, the soils. The soils just don't have the minerals. The farmers don't put these minerals back in, especially the trace minerals, which are minerals needed in smaller amounts, like selenium, uh, iodine, zinc, very important. Number two, anti-acids. They block certain minerals, especially calcium. Uh, and by the way, if you're taking anti-acids for heartburn or GERD, uh, you have number three, which is low stomach acids. Low stomach acid will cause the opening of the valve on top of the stomach to allow the acid to go through. Um, you need a real strong acidic stomach to uh, prevent the uh, regurgitation of that acid. But low stomach acids will block the absorption of magnesium, zinc, calcium, iron, and a lot of other minerals too. So you need a real acidic stomach to pull these minerals in. The way that you know you have low stomach acid is if you have gas and an inability to digest meat, okay? Number four, cortisone, like, like a medication, prednisone or steroids, that will deplete your potassium reserve. That's an adrenal hormone made synthetically. Medications will deplete your minerals. There's a lot of medications that will deplete different minerals, but like, I'll give you an example, diuretics, for example, will deplete your potassium levels. Number six, birth control pills will deplete you of magnesium and zinc. Coffee in excess will deplete calcium, magnesium, potassium, and sodium. Basically all the electrolytes. Number eight, soda. Soda has a lot of phosphorus and that depletes the calcium in the body as well as the potassium. Now sugar depletes potassium, magnesium, chromium, and zinc. Uh, number 10, high levels of insulin will block <laughs> not just minerals but vitamins, specifically uh, potassium and magnesium and chromium. Number 11, if the thyroid is in a hyper mode, you'll be deficient of calcium, magnesium, and selenium. Number 12, stress, which activates your own natural cortisone, will deplete calcium and potassium. And B vitamins like B1, B5. Number 13, grains. Grains have something called phytic acid, which prevents the absorption of minerals, okay? And then if you consume refined grains as bread or pasta in a state of flour, um, you're gonna lose the B vitamins and potassium and calcium, and that's why they sometimes enrich grains with certain synthetic vitamins, but they don't enrich it with the minerals. Number 14, oxalates, as in calcium oxalate stones in the kidney. Well, what happens, it locks up the calcium in the body, and so you become calcium deficient. Believe it or not, if you have a tendency to get a kidney stone, it's not a, a bad idea to consume calcium because you're going to become deficient. And it'll go through the digestive system. It won't go directly to the kidney and bind to the oxalate. So it actually will help you. Number 15, not consuming enough vegetables. Well, what food gives you all the minerals? <laughs> you got it. Large quantities of vegetables. Number 16, not consuming enough sea vegetables like seaweed or sea kelp or even seafood because that's where you get your iodine. So if you're not consuming those foods, and you're not consuming food that's grown close to the ocean, you could become iodine deficient just from that. Being pregnant can create major deficiency because the demand for nutrients is so high and the problem with a lot of women that are pregnant, they're consuming the wrong type of vitamins, synthetic prenatals with the minerals that are like rocks. They're not gonna absorb them. You wanna do plant-based. You wanna go high quality of nutrients when you're pregnant. Number 18, being a vegan. You really have to know what you're doing when you become a vegan or a vegetarian because there's certain nutrients that are very difficult to get. One is iron, okay? 19, having mercury exposure can deplete you of magnesium and calcium. Amalgam fillings. Number 20, lead, okay? If you're exposed to lead, you'll be calcium deficient. So now you know all the potential ways that you can become deficient in minerals. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, press the button below and I will keep you in the know. Hey, that rhymes.